So the uh, Feats of Trumpets has started, and it uh, the moon was sighted in Israel just before, uh, well, I believe the second one was just before 7 o'clock p.m. their time, which is 11 o'clock uh, standard time, 12 o'clock eastern time. And uh, so the Feast of Trumpets, uh, the day has started, and the day will end um, tomorrow. It is not a two-day feast day. It is two days set apart so that it's possible that it's two days because there could not have been, a, there may not have been a sighting today. And so this was, the, there was 29 days. This would have been the 30th day of Elul, but it's not. It's first day of Tishri. So tomorrow is the second day of Tishri. It's not the first day again. So be, be, be careful about people who tell you it's two days because it's not. It's one day, but it could be one of the other, one of the two. We know which one it is now. We know it's today. So the question is, is the last trump blown right at the end of the day of the first day? Well, that would mean tomorrow at around 1142 or so in the morning Eastern time and 1042 Central, 842 Pacific, that is when the next day the sunset uh, happens and the next day occurs so although the day really actually doesn't occur until you sight two and then the third medium magnitude star so that's technically when the day actually uh, the next day actually starts when twinkle twinkle little star occurs and it is officially night so it could be you know they're thereafter 45 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes or an hour after but what you're basically looking at tomorrow could be the day where the final that the last trump is blown in order to bring in the rapture of the church if it doesn't happen tomorrow then in my estimation it happens on a feast of trumpets and therefore it will not happen in 2020 that is not surprising to me it might be surprising to a lot of people but it's not surprising to me and the reason for that is because i actually believe it's going to get worse before we are removed that there is there are things that can actually get worse um until the point where we we have to be removed otherwise we will be uh, devoured by the devil and his minions and we are not determined and destined to do that Revelation 12 5 clearly states that we that the man child it, it rules with a rod of iron and that the child is caught up to God in his throne so uh, the devil does not devour us the doubt the devil and the antichrist overpowers and overcomes the saints when he's in power not overcoming to the to 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 the second death but overcoming to the <laughs> overcoming those people who overcome they will give their lives up in the first death so the antichrist cannot make someone who's who is a believer become a non-believer that is just simply not the case those people will die for their faith the ones who choose to live are going to give up their eternal life for the life here on earth and that that's clearly the separation uh, those who take the mark are not able to be saved those who don't take the mark will be martyred now that's in the tribulation that's during the time of the antichrist reign before that is actually the harlot system and the harlot system persecutes believers and kills them as well so there are many different groups as i said this group that we are in are, is the group that's going to escape those things and when those things come take take uh, place and they they come to pass we will not be here to experience through that but we obviously are still here right now 
we could be still here tomorrow and if we continue to be here throughout this year and into next year and so forth we have a mission to preach the gospel and we are have a mission to endure to the end so don't be discouraged certainly don't be don't be scared the only way you'd be scared is if you just don't have jesus and you, you have not accepted him and this rapture is going to come and you're like oh my gosh i don't want to have to go i don't want to go through that i'm scared well accept jesus you won't have to go through it and you won't have to be scared there's no god told us not to have a spirit of fear we are not to be afraid of the things in the future we are to joyfully embrace what we have and endure and persevere until the end so and those who say that that i'm sitting here sitting sitting here setting dates that's just simply not the case today is the feast of trumpets i mean i'm not setting this date as the feast of trumpets this is the feast of trumpets what I'm saying is that the rapture could happen on a Feast of Trumpets. It's very likely it's going to happen on a Feast of Trumpets, in my view and many other views. And so it could happen today. And when someone says, oh, so you're going to do this every single September. Well, actually, October 4th is in 2024. That's the Feast of Trumpets. So, no, not every September. And I didn't actually post anything last year or the year before. Didn't feel it. This year, it could happen. I suppose it could have happened last year or the year before, but I didn't feel it, and I didn't make a video, and it didn't happen. This year I'm making videos about it, but it also could not happen. I made videos about it in 2017. It did not happen. So there, there, I'm not saying that it has to happen today. It certainly doesn't. As a matter of fact, I've posted many times in, in that I wouldn't be surprised, and I'm actually thinking that it's probably not going to be happening. That's where I'm at right now. But what, But if it does happen, great awesome let's go let's get out of here but if it doesn't happen great let's be here let's continue to, to to spread the gospel there are so many lost people out there that listen to so many people that, that, that tell them just basically lies they tell them that that the government's going to take care of them then you get people who are saying that the rapture that the um the, the vaccine is the mark of the beast that's simply not the case the, the vaccine is not the mark of the beast. The harlot system's not even fully in place. The rapture hasn't occurred. The Antichrist hasn't come onto the scene. The Antichrist hasn't sat in the temple and defiled it. The Antichrist hasn't rolled out his mark. The vaccine is a setup for the mark. It is something that's conditioning. All this stuff is conditioning. When you get your temperature taken in your forehead or in your right wrist, all that is conditioning, you see. It's gonna be a personal choice to everybody whether or not they're gonna take this vaccine or not. If you know what's in it, you probably won't take it. But if you do take it, don't think that you've just lost your salvation. That's ridiculous. If you're going to take it and all of a sudden start worshiping somebody, okay, then you've got a problem. Because you're worshiping them, not because you took the vaccine, but because you're worshiping somebody other than Jesus. That's a problem. It's sad to see even fellow believers believing this and stirring up the brethren in order to to believe this and saying that well since it is the mark of the beast the rapture must come before that and therefore the rapture must come before the vaccine there is nothing biblical about that because the vaccine is not the mark of the beast yes the rapture must happen before the mark of the beast but this is not the mark of the beast it's a conditioning element just like everything else Don't be discouraged. And for those who come on and say, oh, the pre-tribulate rapture is a uh, doctrine made up in the 1600s, in the 1500s, in the 1800s, and blah, blah, blah. No. The rapture was showed to us by Paul and is spoken throughout the Bible. When John speaks of the rapture, he finishes it with comfort each other with these words. 
when you come on to my channel and say things like that those are not comforting words I'm gonna go with Paul and whatever your opinion is and whatever your ide ideology is on it whatever your take is on it great thank you for that but I can tell you one thing the people who are watching my videos have comfort in the rapture that it will happen one day before Daniel's 70th week the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many for seven years or for a period of time and breaks it in the midpoint three and a half years in it's very clear the restrainer must be removed before the Antichrist is revealed Is there going to be a falling away? Absolutely, there's going to be a falling away before the, the second coming. The Antichrist is going to come on the scene. There's going to be a falling away. There's going to be people who take the who, who fall for the strong delusion. People have already started falling away long ago. Look at the state that the, that the main mainline churches are in. No. For those who are saying that we're going to be here throughout the bowls, the trumpets, the seals, and all the other stuff, you guys can go ahead and have your own channel for that. Make your own videos. Because on here, you're going to find comfort. Just like Paul said in 1 Thessalonians 4.19. I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone's watching, and tomorrow we will see in the morning in the United States if we are out of here.